Breaking news. Mayetiala begs Nigerians, says wicked headsmen take their cows to people's farm. It's not our desire. It's not our doing. We are very sorry. Hello, my wonderful people. Mayetiala is putting out a plea out there, begging all Nigerians. Don't forget that the Southern Governors has already started what we call anti-grazing law. And even those who refuse to sign are beginning to sign as the heat from the Fulani headsmen gets intense. You know, the truth of the matter is most of the headsmen you see leading or accompanying the cow, most of them are not the owners, okay? So the rich guys own these heads of cows, um, they, these herds, and they employ herders, okay? Mostly of the Fulani stock to come on board and to help them take these this, um, cows around for their feeding and all that, okay? And that's where these animals, they get fed. They take them all around. They take them from one place to the other. They take them from one spot to the other to get them fed. But my Tiala now, you know, people have been complaining about the activities of these headsmen, what they've been doing and all and all. People are not happy. We all know the complaint generally that has been going on in that regards and how Nigerians are particularly frustrated. Okay, okay, very frustrated in regards to the activity. Now, Fulani headsmen are begging, saying, I mean, my Tiala says it's not their fault. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. My Tiala leaders beg Nigerians, says, it's not our fault. Wicked Fulani headsmen take our cows to people's farms. The head of my Tiala Cattle Breeder Association of Nigeria, popularly known as Maitiala in Bukin Ladi local government area say that some headsmen intentionally take their livestock to people's farm to feed and to cause them problem and trouble. Mohammed condemns the development as the act of wickedness on the part of the headers during a recent interview with Prime Times, saying this is never our intention. How can we destroy people's labor and their hard work? You may recall that stakeholders have tried to ensure lasting peace between headers and farmers across the country. However, more details have emerged regarding the fact involving re regarding the fact involving the issue. During an recent interview, Mohammed said it is true that some of our members are having problems with the farmers. Sometimes our cows accidentally encroach on people's farms. Remember, they are cows, but we compensate the victims. However, some very wicked farm herders intentionally take their cows to feed on people's farms. And this is an act of wickedness. Unfortunately, there are times when cows get killed or poisoned. Some victims of the said crisis in Plateau State also shared their ordeal during the recent visit. A widow, Sarah Joshua, revealed that her house was burnt due to the lingering crisis ongoing after herders took cows to their farm and the people revolt and held the cows. They went ahead and they destroyed her home, burning it down. These are the, these are the work of mischief makers. So, my ATLA is begging Nigerians, so Nigerians, wherever you are, please listen, oh, pl please coming to you that you should please oh, tender justice with mercy. Oh. So, I mean, they've said you should please tender justice with mercy that, I mean, it's not their fault, okay, it's not intentional. Whatever has happened, they never intended for it to happen as some wicked headsmen are the ones involved in this activity and making things difficult, okay, for the people. So this is what is happening right now. This is the solemn cry, you know, being, you know, uh, put out there that, you know, it's not also, this is not the intention, this is not what we intended this is not what we've told the headers to do, to go to people's farm and to frustrate them. In fact, this is unheard of. This is not right, you know, and they are saying people should please forgive them and um, report that what they do is that when things like that happen, they do compensate, okay? They do compensate for that. They really do compensate and um, 
It's sad that um, people do that, but he said, however, it's wicked headers that do that, okay, to make, to make them look bad and to frustrate them. He said, so they are very sorry that such things are happening. And the truth of it is that they are ready to make amends, okay, on this ground, on this regard. They are really ready to make amends and they don't want people to look at them okay with some funny eyes or treat them as though they are not part of the society that it is never their call it's never their intention some wicked headers have taken this on board you know to carry out these wicked activities okay so this is what is happening and um we will bring you up to speed because my atl is really begging everyone everybody who cares to listen that they are very sorry okay ITL is sending out a solemn plea and a cry to everybody that they should please not, um, okay, not allow that to, you know, make people's dominion towards them to change, that they are peace-loving people. So this is the association. This is the chairman speaking. It was, an, it was in an interview and in his opinion, it is the wicked set of them. They are weak, you know, like I earlier reiterated, they, when you see the headers, okay, they are not the owner of the cow. Some of, most of them are not the owners. They are hired to carry out the cow feeding and all that and they report back. They get paid maybe monthly, however way they get paid, I can't really ascertain to you how they get paid but you know they, there is an arrangement or an agreement as to payment uh, you know going on between the jail and then um, they said well the truth of it is that when we give these guys the cows to go and to you know to take to roam around and to get them fed some of them are wicked they intentionally take these cows to people's farms it ought not to be so they do it intentionally they cause problem for us and even even apart from destroying people's farms and all that they also cause them real trouble because people at times nobody will take it some will poison the cows sometimes the cows get killed and then um, they themselves they are running at a loss okay and so they said they are pleading with the people that people should understand but i don't understand the i, I personally don't understand the understanding they want nigerians to exercise and to get in terms of what these full and hates men are doing I, i'm trying to really understand what they want us to understand yes i'm trying to get the understanding the place where the understanding comes in because these people are what they are doing is not acceptable in any way form or kind okay there should be better resolution as to this matter but leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.